Hi, let's talk about adding three digit numbers on the place value chart. Here I have a place value chart and a problem so we can get started. So when I'm adding on the place value chart, no matter if I have two digits, three digits, four digits, however many, um, I always put my add-ins on the place value chart. And I'll start with my first add-in. So 328 means I have 300. So I'm gonna show that with three dots, two tens, and eight ones. And I always like to have rows of five because that makes it faster to see which number I'm dealing with. I don't have to do as much counting. So this is my first add end, 328. Now down below it, I'm gonna do my second add end. So I have 100, nine tens, and I like to separate these because it makes it easier to check my work and to see what I've done. So everything I do is about minimizing mistakes that I could make because we can all make mistakes when we're counting, we can all forget a part. And so I try to set up my problems that it is very difficult to make those kind of mistakes. Okay, and then I have eight ones. I will draw that here. So I have both my add-ins on the place value chart. Now I can count up all of my dots to find my answer. Here, if I counted these all up, I would find I have 16 dots. I can't show 16 in the ones place in my answer. So I'm gonna need to circle 10 of these and, uh, and move 10 ones into the tens place as one 10. So let's see, I have eight here, so I need two more. So I'll circle those, and I'm gonna move them over to the tens place as one dot right there. Now, how many ones do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I know my answer is gonna have a six in the ones place. Now I can count up my tens, including the 10 I just made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So again, I have more than 10. So I'm gonna circle 10, and I got to here. This one was included. I'll recount just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great, so I can group those 10 10s together and make them 100. I'll show that by having a dot right there. How many 10s are left? One, two, so my answer has a two in the tens place. Now how many hundreds do I have? One, two, three, four, five. That was the easiest part. Now I can either check my work by subtracting or by adding a different way. And I really like to add using the standard algorithm because it is really fast. Now, if you don't understand what's going on when you're using the standard algorithm, it's not as helpful. So I would use the place value chart or hundreds blocks or another strategy to understand this, but for speed, the um, standard algorithm is your fastest bet. So here, eight plus eight equals 16. I put my six in the ones place, take the one over to the tens place, which is just what I did here on the place value chart. Now, one plus two equals three, three plus nine equals 12. So I have two tens and 100. Again, I showed it right here. One plus three equals four, plus one equals five. And I got the same answer. Okay, it's time to look back at that worksheet that you tried before watching the video. When you're done with that, put your work away for the night. Tomorrow, look at the review sheet, try the activity. Five to 10 minutes a night for several nights in a row is gonna get you really comfortable with this skill. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.